beaten. This map, it just, it's just probably the most balanced Highlander map, which is why it's always referred to as the Badlands of 9v9. We're here at the Badlands once again. Kenichi World once again to Vanilla TV. If you haven't joined us, where the, where on earth have you been? In the red corner is the French. They're one map up. In the blue corner is the Finns, and they are attacking first, setting a time. It is Bad Warsaw, otherwise known as the Badlands of Highlander. And I am Scully. Cameraman is Ari. With me is Hildreth. And as we just talk through, with 40 seconds to go, yeah. Where is the sentry gun? It's uh... the classic position. Yeah. I just want to point out, Kuna has a, or is it Kuna or Kuna? Has a uh, really clever little sticky trap sort of hidden in the rocks. I think it was seen by Jonas from Spawn, where he put it, but it's sort of like it's really hard to spot. It's kind of obvious where it is the way he keeps putting stickies there. Finnish people, players can see it. That'll be good, but I'm look, watching out for suicides. And Kona has a lot of pressure on him on this map, because if he keeps getting picked like he was on Barmblitz, Finns, the Finns should punish him on this map. Gotta be. I'm no gonna watch those stickies, player. so. No aggressive jumps like yeah, there's no cater shunt. There is a spy right next to the point on fire of the sentry gun. He is gonna get taken down. So this is the thing. The Finns know they have to be aggressive, but yet again, Muffins is staying in spawn. Just jumping around. Look at, look at where K3 was standing for that suicide play. He went all the way down to the bottom. Uh, he he was expecting that sort of that's clever medic play. I didn't see Muffins really do that when I saw them. Finland play England on this map. But here comes Napper again, bombing onto the K3. K3 just falls back up at Zoob oh, comes in. Double! Double air shot from Kuna there onto Zoob. The first one threw him up as he was going around the corner, and the second one was pitcher perfect. Yeah, but even though that was an impressive display of skills, Zoob still did this force. So it doesn't matter if you hit your pipes and hit them well. If Zoob still gets that force off, it's a failure. He's connecting pipes like a plumber, though. But he's, he's dying. Well, he's dying on by himself. Didn't save his medic from using. Come on, man. Think of the big oh. picture. Yeah. Well, if he was the up there sticking, is... if he was up there sticking the door, Zoob couldn't have jumped. Here's That's the big how I play. Cause I'm bad. Here's the big picture. The classic sentry spot, right above, where, right above the tunnel, and the cart's in the tunnel. So all they need to do. It's just push forward. Here comes, the, here comes the Uber push straight away. What are they going to do with this? They've been pushed back by Norman with Pyro. It's done absolutely nothing to that Pyro. Yet again, it feels like an early push. Oh. That sentry's getting taken out though from a shotgun. So... Look at it, the sentry's been almost taken out from the shotgun there. Did, you, the... did you see Isil get a triple kill on the hill there? The medic, oh. demo, and soldier. I'm oh, nah. sorry. <laughs> I missed it. I'm I mean, sorry. you're right about focusing the cart because that is one of the. If the cart's the sentry's wrangled, you can sneak him below. There's nobody, there's just one soldier watching the cart right now for Francis. Here comes Napa trying to bomb in on that medic, doesn't do any damage. Zoob gets backstabbed before he even leaves spawn. So, well, after just after he left spawn, Finland's struggling on this first point. I expected them to um, be a little better on this map with France, oh, showing them how it's done. Yeah, I gotta admit, it's a really great defense. Now, look, you've got, you've got Flippy standing by the cart, sniping down the tunnel. So it eliminates the tunnel. And one thing that I've always said about Flippy, when he picked up the sniper rifle, you've got to treat him with so much respect that he eliminates a lane of, of pushing. He eliminates one way that you can go. So look, he's now high up, high up onto the point, high up over the ridge. You can't now go over the ridge. You've got to go through the tunnel. If he goes to the tunnel, you can't go through the tunnel. You've got to go over the ridge. He eliminates a lane of where you can push, and I loved his his style of sniping. Yeah, and um, he saw, I saw that as he rotated from the tunnel to the- Oh my god! Napa was with that a drop! Oh, wow! On to K3, that's just what Finland need. They've got what, they've got 1 minute and 20 seconds <laughs> to make this push work. I hope Harry caught that on camera. I'm pretty sure he did, but I love that little he jump. Kill back. <laughs> yeah, the, the Kader's um, pattern of Kader play there. These lovely little strafe around the corner, I mean, it, Nah, K3 never saw it coming. I didn't see it coming. What Demo are they going to do with this right now? Look, here goes. Muffin's got the Uber. It's an early Uber pull straight away. Early Uber pop, sorry, straight away. Got to focus down that Sentry Gun. The Pyro is doing some great work trying to stop that. And the uh, engine is still there. Now the Uber's done absolutely diddly squat with a couple kit, but, but two um, crucial kills. Sentry Gun finally gets taken out. I mean, maybe it'll finally walk onto this. Uh, are they? Where is the Sentry Gun? Yeah, it's taken down finally, so they can finally capture this, and I want to see what the time is, and it's 
Yeah, that's wow, a good, really good time, but because Ozu, key killed by Zoo, bombing in, took down K3, chasing. Oh, great kill by Papa, I just walked through the door and Nappa was, well, napping. And uh, Papa walked in, that's <laughs> <laughs> awful. Papa walked in over the stickies and just took him. You know, it was a bit, a bit of a gamble. Kuna's stuck behind him. So he, all he can do is distract the, com the combo from Finland. So there's a lot of players out of position. Shots cleans him up. Good shotgun by, by him on the engineer. So Finland have a good chance of taking um, second and third. Sabo, Sabo, what are you doing back there in the corner there? Just going to say it's a weird play for the sentry gun. Where's Sabo going? He's gone upstairs. Uber comes up the anyway. Engineer. There comes the Uber oh, up anyway. He do he does think of the Spencer, but there's just so much power with the Uber up there for Muffin. They've managed to bully everyone around, and this is the aggression that they were lacking on on Bumblets. Like they're all forward now. They they're, now that they've retreated because of the stickies, but they're pushing forward with this cart. They're doing enough to get this cart forward, even if there is one sticky on the point that's going to do diddly. There, they finally do so. From three minutes to try and get the first point, they've now taken a minute and a half to take two more points. The momentum is back on their side. This is the key, like you were saying. Momentum. But K3 has the Uber ready and he has got Tech next to him. What's going to happen? It's going to be messy. Yeah, they have no demo man with them, which is important. I don't know where Kuna is. Is he, is he just respawning? He's not holding that corner now. That is dangerous. Flippy needs to. Uh, Flippy's down as well. That is quite oh! dangerous. The force gets jumped straight away. Brilliant force there. They can't do anything with it because they spent too much time. Tech goes down to, I mean, now to the sniper rifle. So this Uber's gone completely out the window for the French. Oh, and great now play. the Finns, yeah, brilliant shots there. Because now it means the the, the, the Finns can look to push forward with this. Like, they shouldn't be looking to push forward now. Where's that sentry gun? It's out it's, That's a nice oh, place. Oh, like, oh, such a sentry's destroyed the Uber. They can't get any frags of it. They're just going to get hit down the sentry and they've done nothing. They're going to get the sentry, but look at Tech. Comes in, takes a heavy, but ruin. Ruins them, gets a couple of kills. They do get the sentry, but now they need to win this next fight. And Muffin to get flanked by Pla Pla, who cleans up the combo for uh, Finland. And this is push is gonna fail. Nothing can really be done. It's it's the way Finland pushes. So it's so stupid. They're Ubering around the corner for a sentry that's across the map and only focusing on the sentry. If they just but duck and go for the frags, the they'll take the sentry out of play. Or they go through the window room. Or they go wrap around far left. Just get the frags, didn't worry about the sentry. I feel like they're playing their Ubers really badly. Well, they had this problem with the last map as well. They yeah, just could not get not the push on. Their, they've not learned from their mistakes. No, they haven't. I totally agree with you there. There's no way have they learned their mistakes here. What can they do around this corner? Nappa gets taken down. Okay, Nappa's down. Easel's down. That's fine. But what can they do? They can't do anything around this corner. And I like the sentry position because it's so far back with the wrangle. What can they do with this? Look, K3 made the K3 in fourth. He's just going around the corner. There's nothing with it. Muffin now has the Uber, but the Uber's going to be used to try and make that sentry gun go down, isn't it? That's what we know is going to happen. Th that's all they're using is Uber for. It's, it's quite weak. They need to do something else. They're going far left. I like that. Now they, they can they can get closer to the sentry at the very least. I still disagree that they're focusing it. But look, they, they can get closer to it. The engineer's just sitting in spawn. Wrangling it, buying time for his team. It's really smart play by Mister. And look at the combo from oh, France. K3 walks straight into a heavy western gun. They got out of position. They're trying to flank round. They have taken a couple of kills though. The French. They've taken a lot of kills to be fair, and they are able to wipe it up. So, Ubers for a sentry gun. They yeah, take the sentry gun. They're dead, and now the sentry gun's back up. It's, it's Mister. He's he's playing so smartly as an engineer. I mean, you have to you have to give him credit for the way he's he, he just wrangles the sentry. Finland is dumb enough to uh, that's a harsh word to use, but yeah, they're dumb enough to fall for his game. Let them let them themselves waste the Uber on the sentry. Then, he's, then whilst they're focusing on frags, he just builds it up in the same place. Yeah, they're not playing smart right now. I, dumb, probably a harsh word, but they're not playing this right, and they're not playing it so smart. You knew the sentry, the sniper's there. You see in the dot, and then oh, flippy! Two guys standing still. He takes them out. Is he going to get free? No. But there goes Nappa. As that's happening, Nappa goes for a jump, takes down Mister and the Sentry. That's crucial. That's good. But it's going to be built up again in 10 seconds. Well, the, because Mister's dead, it won't be built up instantly. That's the big thing. No, but he's going to be up in two Uber's seconds. Gone. But whether or not Uber's he'll be here up. for the Uber fight is a big question. It'll be a level one, at the very least. They need to focus on frags. They want to go fight. in on this. They want to go in on this. They have to focus on frags. 
Exactly, the key here is the frag, that they know the sentry gun's down, maybe this will finally give them the ability. East will take it down, but they know the sentry gun, you're right, it's a level 1. The Uber trade comes off, and it's actually come nothing for both teams. And the heavy weapon guy jumps straight in, gets the Uber flashed on him, and still runs out. So the Ubers That's come off with, with a loss for them. He took like 300 damage in one second, Curitus is on like 50 HP, he had to run away, or he was dead. So as we look at this, 5.42 is the game clock. We just want to say that, 5.39 now is the game clock. They got 5.39 K3 to try goes get... down, Zub again. He just bombed around the corner, that's the danger of not having a demo man, like holding that trick. But point. okay, Let, let's look at this right now. They're taking key picks when they've not got Uber, and then when they go for Uber, it's all gone away because they can't do anything with it. And they... when you say that they should go through the house, I mean, the window, you're absolutely right. This is the time that they've got to try and roll the dice and go for that. Yeah, it's because also Kuno's holding the window room, the map room, and teams don't um, often do that themselves. It's because it leaves a demo man alone. And because he's by oh, well, himself, yeah, they, can, they can force him out of that room. But instead, they've gone around the far left, gone for the sentry again. Same thing, this is a high as in spawn. They waste the U-Bone sentry, and now they're dropping in trying to get more frags. It, Flippy gets two kills on the car, and look at the cleanup coming in. It's great sick play by friend France. It's going to be a wipe. It's a wipe. Just, yeah, just the owners. He goes down. It's a wipe by the French. They got two kills from that. They did the same thing again. They made the same mistake for I would have to say the third time on this map. I mean, the fact that they're making the same mistake all all, all the time is just really yeah. It's this it's is, really poor. This They've got to be just more questionable. You're right, adaptive is the key, and like you said, you came up with the idea of going through the window. Yeah, if they all go through the window, yeah, one time Force Kuna out sticky. of the map room, force yeah. him out, use your heals, force him away, get in that room. Don't go one-on-one -on -one with Flippy, you know Flippy's gonna go around that choke point. They need to think this through, that they're, they're not on They're not on the spot thinking, it's I've almost like it. they've got a strategy. Look I've at the Uber comes out there. Yeah, it's with the Uber. They've now decided, you know what, we're gonna push forward, maybe this could be it, they lose tech, that's okay, but they pushed Faith and Uber to push them through. But is Muffins and the rest of the Finns going to through with this? And you know what? In a pledge way, I'm going to predict it right now. They're going to Uber around the corner. They're going to go for the sentry gun. They're not going to get anything, and that's it. And you know what? Picture perfect. They're going for the sentry gun. They got nothing. Now they've got nothing. And now they're going to try and actually they're going to try and push onto the point. Here comes a double. Straight in from team mate gets two. Plot Plot gets one. K3 goes down, and it's a wipe again. And if Pledge, if you're watching, if you're listening, I've just done exactly what you do. I've just predicted everything just like that. It's <laughs> it's picture perfect. You, you could you could just that it just kind of shows how predictable fit in the plan is. Someone like you can predict the future, Scully. Wow, <laughs> wow! Hashtag shots fired. Apparently, I can't predict the future. Well, I I reckon that you're going to get no drinks from Scully at land. That's the future prediction for if me. I, if I apologise right now, and then you accept it. And then you buy me a drink at land anyway, then your prediction would be wrong either way. Not, I'm not, uh, <laughs> we'll see. No. We'll see. We'll but, see yeah. but look, look, they're, tr they're trying to push forward and it's not working for them. Like, right now, it's just really frustrating for Carsis when you know what you could do and what you can't do, and uh, you've got to be a little bit. But you, you can't be one-sided in a cup. But when you see a team doing the exact same thing time after time again, it's, it's here comes just, Zoop. Oh, screw two. He's done it. it. He's done K3. that three times. Gets K3 with just superb bombs. And the sentry's I mean, down. Look, look. They finally got. They lost one person for free, and they're yeah. not pushing. Now they they've can got go no for Uber. This. No Uber. No sentry. They can focus on frags. Finally, just go for it. Fill oh, them, the Uber. Go. They Ubered through the window room, and they've used up half their Uber. But now they can finally go forward here. Get a couple frags. Take oh, down no. tech. Finally takes down tech, but they're too late. They were way too early. I saw the Uber come off and I wondered where the hell it was. They do take down K3. Nice play from Zoob. <laughs> he's nice playing. Play. Zoob's got so many kills in the medic. He must be getting really frustrated. Because he's doing his job as a Roman. I like guess as, as a soldier. But the French. I'm going to give the French um, flank credit. Because I saw Pla Pla and T Mac. And um, I think Isel as well. They sicked it up so well. Just on the cart. Coming through that main choke point. They destroyed the flank from. Fidlands that were going to be pushing the cart as this push came in, so it forced the combo from Fidlands onto the cart to separate. The sentry and gun's and in a new position. They could find any frags. Yeah, yeah, putting it in the old, uh, just the classic spot. There goes Zoo trying to go for a bomb again. That's... Now, but he, now he knows with the sentry gun in, so expect them to actually hold on to the route for a little bit more. The Finn, 
I'm pretty sure because now you can see the French are playing far forward. 106 is the map time left. I'm not sure if the hype's going to show it, so it's 102 yeah. now. So basically, overtime rules do count if they get onto this because they're setting a time. But I don't even think they're going to get near the cart right now. They need a miracle. As K3's almost got a Zuba. He is low, so though. Weak He's HP. so low. He does get some health, though. So that's handy for them. But what can they do with this? Absolutely oh, nothing. Uber forced by Napa. Can they do anything with it? They're getting pushed away. Maybe this could be the moment they need. They have used their Uber to take this, though. Flippy goes down. Huda goes down. Now they can look to go for this. Now they've used all their Uber. Can they actually go for a push? Or are they going to just push away because of the, the centric gun? Let's just see what's going to happen. They jump down now. Can they take the centric gun down? Can they take the centric gun down? They can't take the centric gun. But they've taken enough kills to really have another crack at this. And the centric gun goes down. So maybe they're going to try that it's been sapped. It has picks been it up sapped. and it gets sapped. It's a great play by Pla Pla and Mister and K3 just staying alive. And the spawns are going to come in from France and rescue them. It's just a scout of um, Zappos alive. But there's still the sentry, still the medic, and s there we go. It's overtime. It's, it's overtime and the Uber. So once again, 501 to capture three points. That's the key, guys. 501 to capture three points. And I'm going to say this right now. Expect the fit. Expect the French to be a lot of more aggressive because I can't see them being really passive. No, that's that's true. As um, look, I'm a little disappointed with the way Finland are playing. I mean, they still have a chance of winning, but they they're very likely to lose this round, and they're also quite likely. I mean, they they need if they lose this round, they will need to win the next two rounds, and then the next at least two rounds on the this side of the map. So they would need to win four out of the next five rounds if they lose this round. Right now I just want to update USA game. Is um it's a bit of a roll too. USA four nil up against Sweden on the second map, Grey Wash. I think they're booking their place in the final. And this is very likely to be France unless Finland changed something. And uh, a lot of people <laughs> feel sorry for change. Zub. A lot of people feel sorry for Zub the way he's like killing K3 constantly and their team of failing pushes. I feel sorry, like... That's the most frustrating thing and I find in teams like that where you've got one guy doing all the work and it comes out for nothing. I do feel his pain and... Uh, it's such a shame. Here he comes, I'm just gonna look at this right now. K3 hasn't come out yet, but the moment he knows it's safe, he will come out and... Pike spam, doing little, not much, now comes K3. He's got the Uber, he's fine. They are losing players, the French, but they can be you know, they can be complacent to just take this slowly. It is 4.30 they need for 4 points, so here they come. The Uber's come while the Pirate gets taken out straight away. Centric Gun is not going to work off there. The Uber exchange comes up for nothing, and the Centric Gun does nothing. And only, only exchange the plot plot. Can K3 get hunted down? He's still staying alive. No, he's <laughs> not anymore. Zoom goes for that Poco jumps and gets takes him again. He's, he's on fire, isn't he? Demo Man jumps. Is he going to get anything? Going to get nothing there. Just a sentry gun from Mister going down, so yeah, nothing. Yeah, Zoop does it again. Picks K3. Look at Flippy on this hill. Has a good angle to try and snipe the engineer. He's trying to find a kill. F Actually, look, they're just going on this hill. France, no, but they have. To, they know they have to do a wrangled sentry, but they're hoping that they can do enough distraction for something big to come in from their spy or something. I'm gonna get my eyes on this. So I'll see if he can do anything. Now he's really spotted him. Activates his dead ringer. And uh, he's out of the fight for the time being. And yeah, like the French are struggling on this. And, uh, I got a HUD reload scheme, but I think my HUD's a bit bugged at the moment. Uh, yeah, am I seeing that there's 328 left in the game, 255 left for the map? Yeah. Am I, mean, I seeing that right? So. Yeah, if um, if uh, fin Finland defend this point for t 2 minutes and 45, they can win the round. And the Uber comes off straight away. The French can't get around the corner. They're struggling to get through this. Like, this is actually quite key because this could give the Finns the first map they need. Because the French can't do anything at the moment. They haven't even attempted to take another sentry. Jumping. Nothing! Knocks the engineer off the hill. I can look at the spy of it. So he's getting in position behind nothing. Oh! Oh, oh, oh does it again? He does it again. How does he do that? Like, how do you decloak behind someone and they don't hear you? Is what I don't get. The mumble comms, the atmosphere, maybe her game volume isn't, but guess what? Guess what? Zoob kills K3. Yeah. Zoob's just playing the way he has to. 
Doob is playing exactly what he needs to do. He's playing it like 66 mentality. Medic goes down? Okay, I'll take the medic out. Muffins can come come back. I think she's waiting for Teddy. Yeah, she's back in position. So they they can put up a defense for this. They just don't need an Uber or a sniper to defend this point right now. Can France push? They're pushing on Uber. Look at that. The man's distracted by the bomb from T Mac, and here comes the damage around the corner. They got the sentry. But, um, they've lost a couple of lost. people, including the demo man. And look at this pyro play. Jonas trying to make a play onto the medic. He does survive. No tech is there. He's going to clean Jonas up. There goes Kuraitz, though. No, Kuraitz is sorry. down. But not much they can do with this. In fact, he's still, still alive. He could go for me from more plays right now. Look at him. He's underneath. He can actually decloak right now and do something. He is actually going to decloak. First person he's going to see, though, is yeah. a sniper. No, it isn't. Now he cloaks up again. Oh, he's been spotted. Has Sa he? Yeah, Sapper, he's Sapper yeah. saw him. Zap is still on. But the point is still not. One captured. more Uber exchange. One more Uber exchange. They're trying to cover tunnel this time. Look, I like the way Finns are trying to change things up at the very least. That's what they're doing. But they're getting wrecked by the, the focus fire from Finland. Then here's a high bomb by T Mac. Doesn't force Uber, does get the sentry. So they've got one push to make this work. They could lose the rounds here. This is yeah, scary. This is, this is Finland's round to lose right now because the French can't do anything. Like. If they capture this, they need to get onto the point as fast as they can with 37 seconds to force an overtime. Oh, no, great kill by Degon. Superb flare on. So he's been quiet in this game, but he got a great kill on the demo man. But Medic has gone down by, to Jonas, so it's all about this heal advantage. No one spotted T Mac on the cart. He's going to get isolated and killed. So it's all about this, these heals. And Oh, Muffins get sniped by flipping. There's so, much, so many people focusing the cart. It's all about the cart right now. It's all about the cart. Kuno with a great kill on too. Curators, that sentry is useless right now. It's not doing anything. Focus the cart, Napper. Focus the cart. The wrong thing. You're shooting the. Gotta focus. Thing. Gotta focus the cart. Find it. Get it. Here Put comes the overtime. It's gonna be the overtime, and you know what? Esau's gonna do it. Oh, Esau's forced the overtime. It's still going no, up. Four seconds, seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. No one's near it. Oh my no, God. Oh, so close. The Finns take a round. The Finns take a round, and it's first blood on high on bad water to the. Fins? Well, I did not expect that. Also, well, also I, I was going to say to uh, tutorial, that wasn't me who said that. It was Hildreth that said the Fins can't me. do anything. The Fins lost the round because the France can't do anything. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was me. Yeah, but no, you actually said the Fins couldn't take out I the Fins or something the like Fins that. I didn't think the could win it, but the French that push, the, the French push on this point was. It's like watching England when England played this. First point, they would like they dominate it's most of the map against Finland and against Spain in two of their games, but they struggled on this first point. Like, we we heard that the French aren't that good on bad water, but I mean all they just do is three points. Like all they needed was three points and they get nothing. Like that's a huge that's demoralizing. Surely that is very demoralizing when you're chasing only when you're not chasing the full four and can't even get a third of it. So I don't know what they're gonna do now because now they've got to set a time and I'm worried they may not even set a time. Honestly, I don't think they will get anything. Well, that was a bad push by them, but they do have you know they still win this round. They still go through to the final. Well, they're gonna win this and then take a third take take a third round for this. But yeah, I mean. I, they haven't I... capped a single point on attack, but it, it gives them a time in between map to think, what are we doing wrong? Where is it going wrong? Why aren't we what winning are these pushes? Wrong? What are they doing wrong? It's the Uber exchanges. Um, they're too comfortable, and they also they're just not getting anything done on the uh, on the flanks. Like, a lot of strategies have been made to be creative in this first point, like Cadus, Cabria, dropping medics like that is one of the strats you see commonly, but there's also things like the soldiers jumping behind. Spawn camping, you know, um, billion players, billion taking the hill, getting your sniper in a good position to snipe the hill, focusing, sending suicides through the tunnel. Loads of diff little things you can do to play this point and get an advantage when you're on offense. And then um, France outside. have just failed to make anything happen, really. They got like that one great pick by Issel on the medic, but they couldn't capitalize because Zoo instantly straight away bombed their medic and killed him. So, as we start for now, the Finns defending. The French setting a time if they can get anywhere, because as we saw from the last round, they got nowhere. They may get close, so let's just see what's going to happen, because I reckon we could see a bomb straight away. 
the, I think the French need to be back on the aggressive side, and they've not been. And actually, K3 has... I think K3 switched Medica. I'm just having a quick look right there. Yeah, K3's gone to crit screen. This is the switch up they need right there. They know it's not working for them, so let's switch it up and be a bit more aggressive. They're going to use the crit screen. So don't expect the bomb early as Parfar gets taken out straight away. But this crit screen is going to be crucial for them. That's an interesting decision. And here it comes on the hill. Going in, they've not got any kills with it. Flippy's really weak, but it does force the Uber, which is just, I think maybe that was the objective of it. They do force the Uber, so it's about the playing for this crit advantage, playing for the, the repush. And tech is yeah. dancing around there. As I just want to say hi to all of the people coming in who just watched USA stomp Sweden, the weakened Sweden, Swedish sides. Wow. But um, they destroyed them 5 0 on Gullywash, 2 0 on Battle. They're in the final, and they're going to play the winner of this game. Could be anybody at this point. If from France fails, fails and pushes, Zub gets sniped as he comes out of the teleporter. So, um, the tech is counter snipe. Diesel, he's missed the backstab, so he's gone for the he's gone for the sap. Does get home record, but at that same time, T-Mac goes in for a lovely kill to shot, and the sentry gun goes down. That's what they need. The aggression back for the French. That's what they want. What can Isil do? That Saber Saber actually taking down Flippy. Isil takes down Rui at the same time. Both spies at the same time with a re revolver kill. Perfect, and now with no sentry, no teleporter, is it? And now it's taken down. Oh, Curtis is gonna die. Yeah, but look, yeah. the fins have to come down, they have to come to the point. The French finally have it, and look, great detection there from Blood Blood. Take the spy, can't get him though, but brilliant detection. Look how far forward they want to be right here, so they are gonna take it. If you are joining us then... from the USA game, here's the, here's the lowdown the French are one map up. It, you know, you can watch the buzz later. The French are one map up, and in the first round, of Bad Wars, which is the second map, the, so the Finns won three captured to one, to none, sorry. So, Uber Exchange comes off, gets nothing, but it allows the They've French separated. to push yeah. them forward. Yeah, it allows the, the French to come forward and capture this point. And that separation is going to be all, crucial. All the Finnish players got separated on that push straight. Demoman ran away, Muffins was trapped, the NG was trapped. They're going to lose point three here, and they, they pick out Zoom going for the power play. He's not going to get K3 this time. So Uber advantage for the Finns, there's like five people alive right now, four people alive, rather. And um, Dapper's got to be careful, doesn't get himself picked. French are going to pick up this point for free and it's going to be a really quick time. And wow. Uber advantage, they could get last in double quick time. Finland needs this to be is, careful. This is a complete turnaround of what we just saw ten minutes ago. Like, let's, do, let's be honest right here, like, the French could do anything to get the first. And now look, T-Mat taking on Rue, it's a great bomb. Can he take down Zub? Not gonna take down Zub, but the Uber comes off straight away. And you know what? This isn't the finish pushing in. They're gonna focus down the head the sentry gun, but they're still in fighting because they've got the numbers up. This is the difference between the Finns and the French right here. They've got the advantage. Here comes the counter Uber though from the flank, but everyone got split up from a sticky. It's just so one they're player actually, as well. Yeah, it's one player. And again, it's one player. Maybe take down the heavy. Maybe team might get taken. Tech get taken down. Does K3 out of position? K3 still alive. K3 right by this board stays alive and gets taken out from a heavy weapons guy. But the point is going to capture. And I'll tell you what, you can be seeing a really fast time here. Not captured yet. Kona with a pipe. Let's take down Rui. It's going to stop them. Just an engineer. How quick? 329, are you kidding me? That's such a good time. Yeah, 329 was like what the French had to get for three points. Yeah, they couldn't even they couldn't even do that on the first point of uh, on the last round, but they in that second round they just struck back. As you said, um, the difference between the teams, the way the French Uber came in, the the flank came in as well, and there was no like. Everyone just ran and hid from Finland. France, when the um, Uber comes in for Finland on defense, when France are on defense, they, their flank is like putting pressure on the people on cart. It's it's just a difference. And when they use that counter Uber, Finland, it was um, it was on Napa. It's just one guy. They didn't have anybody else with them to clean up frags. Just getting medic versus medic. Just want to point out a couple of people asking about lagging STV. It won't be on our side. The Wranglers actually cause the STV to lag. It, it's not an issue with pings or RE stream or the STV. It's actually a bug in the game where the Wranglers will actually 
like the game. So if you see lag, it's not going to be Ari, it probably may, won't be you, and it won't be us, it is the Wrangler. Medigun versus Medigun, so no crit streak surprise here. And the Finns know they have to go, and everybody but Muffins is out of spawn right now. Map is still going to suicide, they've got time for one, here he goes, but it's just on the sentry. There's a lot of damage to the sentry, doesn't achieve anything, actually Zoop directly hits it down and K3 force. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. But I don't think he took any damage, he just used the Uber. But team up reflected. How many times has team up been killed from a reflect rocket? That's probably like the third time I've seen get killed from a reflect. But anyway, the Uber's been new. But at the same time, it's 250. That is a tall ass for anybody to do. Oh, Muffin's Zappers. still alive. K3 tech drop down, Zappers cleaned him up with a scattergun. Uber! But... Yes. Uber's forced way early, way, way early, as per usual. They're always Ubering, Ubering into a snipe, a pyro in a century. It's just. And their flank has just been wiped on the cart, so they've got to deal with this um, powerful French flank. And there we go, Flippy gets a kill, Papa gets a kill. Flippy takes down the demon man. That's three, the power class is down. Kuna gets picked, but Flippy hits his first four headshots. This guy is going huge right now. I just want to put my camera on him. I just Make see, it see him connect. Make it five. Make it five. On no. the medic, there we go. There's there the we five, go. Skelly. There's, There's your five. five. And he finally died. Zoom, not impressed. Spree there. Brilliant spree there, and it's really helped them off. It's now two that's minutes to saved catch a third. Point. I think that's saved them the round. I think we're going to a third map here. Yeah, that it's probably third won round. them. I mean, France are going to just fall back, give them the point, because they know that they have time to set up on the second. It's just frustrating feeling because they can't get the momentum together to take two caps without a fight, without an Uber. They need to get Uber before they can get this point. Yeah, look at the top. k has almost got Uber. I like. They can, look, they can not, defend it. They're not pressuring the cart like watch at the, the moment, heavy finally. Drop. Watch the Uber comes down. Watch the heavy drop. The bomb. He's gonna drop straight down, and they run away. Watch they Team Mac go for the medic. He's gonna flash Team Mac, and Team Mac's gonna do a high jump. Yeah, two rocket jumps off the wall, looking for Muffins. Fish. He can't find him, but he's still there. Now nah, he's gonna get die now. Is he? Oh, landing on Muffins' head. Oh, oh, oh it's so close. Hey. After splash damage, after, after full damage, Muffins was on. That was huge. That could have, it was just one more splash, you know, a couple of hammers away. It could have done something, but they had, they've got a defense up here because they wasted all that time. And they are. Oh, Savage Savage. Here's Savage Savage doing what he needs to do. Get the kills they need. Yeah, I think it's but too with late. 50 though. seconds, it's too late. Yeah, that, they will probably, they would probably pick this third point up in about. Maybe they'll get it in a minute. It's just, I think it's just GG right now. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to a deciding round on this. Yeah. Now, as the rules are, deciding round is the person who captures, the team who captures the, the first of the, the uh, all four points captured in the fastest time, I'll say that right, which would go to France. So, France would definitely want to try and set a time, surely. Yeah, um, essentially though, because the way they, they attacked me under pressure to cap the point it was uh, not very good. Yeah, and uh, I, I just got a message from uh, it's from my, my teammate Zub, maybe complaining a little bit about his team. Zub is on my sixes team. He just said to me, need to pick the medic once a minute to keep this game even. Well, yeah, that, exactly. that's what he says. <laughs> And he's got like 17 or 7 medic, medic frags or something on this map so far. The, the guy's been playing out of his skin and then the rest of his team ubers into a sentry gun, gets the sentry gun, loses their uber, gets wiped and does the exact same thing over and over and over. Uh, we, we've, you know, if you've not seen the game so far, like basically if you watch the VOD, it basically just watch this. It's basically watching the same thing over and over again. It's not like we put it on loop. I'm sorry if that's offensive, but I'm gonna say that it's like watching the thing on loop. So, what can they do? Is the question. Um, They've the got to French, change something up. The French want to defend. Yeah. Seeing this, the French want to they want to actually choose defense. So. Yeah, I think they've. Yeah, even though they. Um, their attack last time was so so good, despite a poor attack in the first round. So I feel like they're maybe they trust themselves now to set a time. Sorry, to um, not set a time to defend a good time. Yeah, yeah. yeah what do I mean, not, set a time? What am I talking not, about? And not screw up because 
because, you know, the Finns only got to three points on the first round, and then the French couldn't even capture the first point, so... <sighs> questionable, I've got to admit, questionable. I'm thinking of, uh... I'm thinking of popping into the colony... colony member where the French team are... Sorry, the, the Finnish team are, and verbally slapping them, so that they step their game up right now. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing it. I don't know. Would it be appropriate? Here's, here, okay. Okay. They could, yeah, Finland, go ahead. Here is the motivation that the Finns need right now. If you lose this, you have to play Sweden in the bronze again. Okay? If Finland lose this, the bronze playoff will be for the, the same two teams as last season. Same semi-finals last season, and it could be the same bronze as last season. Finland, if you want to don't, if you don't want to play the Swedes, you will win this right now and take it to a third map. Sorry, I, I've just got to say that. <laughs> we don't yeah, that's a good motivation for a Finn. I have to say, you don't want to you don't want to be doing the exact same thing as the last tournament. I mean, okay. How, how's this for motivation as well? Finland, if you want to show up the whole of Europe and show them how it is to be, how to beat Americans, you will beat France right now and beat them at the third map. That good motivation. Yeah, I mean, America in the final is a scary fort. But whoever oh, but, whoever yeah. wins from this is gonna have is gonna be representing like Europeans pride. It's just, I mean, it's gonna be like a few days before I forty nine as well, especially as European yeah, pride it, on the will line. It be, will it be done before land? Will it? It will be done before land. It, the deadline. It will be. Um, it will be. But it should be done by. Next Tuesday, I think Tuesday is the last day. They might allow one or two more extra days. Yeah, no, just they one. Can't, they just can't one do it day. during LAN. They cannot do it during LAN because there'll be too many people at LAN playing in the Sixers tournament. So it has to yeah, be done I mean, before LAN. I think the core of this French team is going. That great video they made. Oh, yeah, Flippy the French with their donation drive. Plah, plah. Shout out to the French team. Team is going, going with um, views. So there's quite a few people going from France. Finland actually don't think I have any really going to I-49. Um, I think they did, didn't they? Broda? Zappas is, I think is Bert Bivens playing for Broda? Yeah, I can't remember. But, uh... Yeah, like the French are going, they've got a lovely donation drive, which they, I think they've hit their goal. And they're going to be coming to, um, to LAN, and I love them, I saw them at last LAN. That's going to be fantastic. Because... Like, they're a great bunch of fun. I mean, when you look at the teams at I-49, we've got this small time just to talk about I-49. You look at the teams that are going to be there. IM, HRG, Epsilon, Furbo MPUs, Pandas. Furbo Pandas. <laughs> no, we're not there with our team. I mean, nowhere near good enough. What are you talking about? Furbo Pandas all the way to the final, man. Yeah, I expect to win it, but, you know, I might just throw a few games. Yeah, just, just be a throw a couple. Get extremely drunk and not play properly. Or you could be a darn and break your computer. Um, I think my computer's already broken. So. Oh, okay, so that's fine. Um, so, I mean... It's such a I great week of TF2 coming up. I have to say, like, we've got the final of the Highlander Nations Cup, the Dignitas Cup, the ESCA LAN, and then the week after, it's, it's I-49. Like, let's, look at it. let's look at it in the next seven days. In the next seven days, from tonight, I, in seven days tonight, I will be in Telford at the I-49 land getting ready. So will I. So, in seven, so in the next seven days, we've got the Dignitas One Night Cup. The ESEA land is happening. Then we've got the Highlander National Cup final. Maybe also the bronze playoff match will be taking place. They will be happening. And then, after the seven days, I-49. So, really, in 14 days, brother, you've got a lot of TF2 to watch. That's, it'll be some of the best TF2. We've ever watched in like, our lives. Here we go, Here the we final go. round, Scully. The well, maybe final the final round of final Bad Water. Match. The final round of well, Bad Water. Should it be the final round of the whole match? Maybe. Just I, I sound like the heavy there. Maybe. 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 Let's see what smart bullet. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I, I can have smart bullet. I don't think I could actually. Anyway. That should be a drinking like game, then. I'll bring a BB glasses. gun. No, bring bullet shot glasses. I'm calling it now. Bring bullet shot glasses. We're doing it. Anyway, back onto the game. Standard sentry gun position. The Finns going with the medigun. 
I mean, oh, sorry, the French gun with the medigun. I haven't even looked at the fins yet. Yeah, I, my fins. I haven't seen them run anything but mediguns every every time I cast them. So let's just have a look at this. A standard setup. You look at it, and basically, when you've seen the same thing for three times in a row now, there's nothing really much to comment on. Really, you're just going to see are the fins going to try anything different? Fingers crossed. I want to see if Zoob does the spawn camping thing. Where he will, I mean, we've seen him go for like force place, but one of his strategies as a soldier, he's quite a dynamic soldier, is he will go behind and try and spawn camp at the first point. He's going to go for a suicide place, syncing it up with Napa, hits two rockets onto K3. Great, that's a great play. And him now, Uber advantage to Finland in this last round. They need to use this Uber to get the point. At the very least, if they, they've got to get the first point from this Uber. If they can wipe France and uh, like get second as well as first, it'll be brilliant. But they need the first point. They know they can push. They know in that last round, they know that they can get to third in three minutes. But they need to go now. Now is the key. They're wasting this uber Watch advantage. Flippy. Look at Flippy. Oh, I thought Flippy was going to go for a hero play. But he just tr oh, shot the uber medic forced. instead. The uber got forced from a direct pipe there. So they've got they used That's the uber. A, it's a bad Uber's, uber. Uber's been used. There's nothing they can do with it, and they've wasted another Uber. Muffins get taken down from Esau. Typical Esau there, brilliant play, but that's, that's, that's wasted. Zoom, using the direct hit as well. Central gun finally taken down, but they're taking the Central gun without an Uber. That's the thing. Hang on, K9, K3 does get taken, does get the Uber, so that's oh, this really push is going well, and that's a bad pop for K3. He's, he's using it to run away, and that's never a good thing. Necessarily, but it does it give him half a chance to get set up on second. But I'm not sure Finland should push straight away. Like then there's no set up on second from France yet. Get straight onto the roof. But they can outnumber them. Get straight on the roof, outnumber them. It's, I think big plays are needed by Flippy here on the corner. For any if um, France want to win this, or if Finland need to go on the roof straight away and they're doing that. Saba, what are you doing? What are you doing, Saba? You just run straight in front of Deacon and. Yeah, okay, well done, Sap. A plus plays. Anyway, Sap is taken down. But like we say, that Uber running away actually was crucial because it allows yep. the French to set up right here. I don't they think have, they could have done it. They're off the roof, though. Yeah, but they come back down. This is a great play from K3 and Tech. They go, they go down, Sap the blue. They cut, he falls down. And where, there's Tech straight away. Come to give him a hug and helps him. And they take down Sabba Sabba. So that's going to help. And now the Uber comes in from above and it's taking out nothing at the moment and now, now oh dear that's uh that is k3 being knocked down but they do hold this off so <laughs> an the flank change. has been destroyed by yeah. um the, the, the french flank has just again and they've got in and there we go t mac coming in because there's no flank he can focus on the combo bombs muffin takes him down i mean they've got a lot of frags from this finland so the fight is going to get interesting when the spawns come in but for now finland are holding the roof France are holding the roof. Yeah, Look sorry, France are holding the roof. I've never seen a hold on second before as good as this. Like, is it good or just bad by them? Esau taking down shots again. I mean, Esau's just been really playing lights out as per, uh, as he was the first game. So he's getting the kills he needs. And now Saba Saba goes down. Saba Saba can't get a play while Esau's getting a play. That's how good it is. Sentry Gun finally taken down, but they can't do anything because Muffins doesn't have Uber and K3's got the Uber ready to go. So if they can just go and pop. I'm gonna watch Zub on this back roof. Like he's, if anyone's been making things happen for him, it's him. But Rue's hitting a few headshots. I'm seeing that as well. Zub's coming in. He's gonna jump into a pyro and a heavy. He's not gonna get anything done. A lot of focus That's on the car. Up. Makes the force though. Again, it's a force fire. So Muffins is gonna have Zub ready to go. But at the same time, they only lost Flippy. So they can still hold this at the top. Like, when you look at it, they yeah, can they're, still they're hold it back, though. They're thinking about third point. They're thinking, we don't want to overcommit to this point. We want to get a good defense up on third. So they're going to yep. stay here and force the Uber. And here it comes. Uber's force. Nappa's jumping in. Pyro deflecting. Helder, That's... they have a man of soldiers still upstairs, though. Look at this. They're trying to get the damage. Oh. If they can get a play here on the medic or something, it'll be big. But Nappa's been taken out. T-Mac is bombed in. Where is T-Mac? He goes down. Died, cleaned yeah. up, so... Yeah, that's demo and soldier. That demo is a very important class at this point. If you don't have a demo man, I mean, they do have an Uber in the bank though, so they can they can defend this point for the time being. But France, Finland could use this you know, lack of demo man to try and get a force off by putting pressure on. But they're not really doing it. Zoob's trying to get in the house on the yeah, on the right. The 
but there's no sentry gun. All so these pipes are landing straight on top of K3. Pipes, pipe spam from over the top. Zoob jumps in just to make sure he dies. Actually, didn't know the Uber was forced. So, yeah, it's as easy as that. Spam some pipes over that house, force the Uber, and now Uber advantage. Back to, back to Finland. And here yeah, they come. It, that's always been Finn since the first game. I think it's the first part of this. They hiccup the Uber. Not getting much at the moment. The sentry gun plays low, so it's going to be taken out pretty fast. And they have taken it, but they're not pushing the players on. They, they're taking players down. I think my, my HUD is bugged. No, they are taking players down, but it's not enough. And you just see Esau there holding that off. And now they're backing out. And they're backing up. There's no reason. Here comes T Mac trying to get a kill. Gets nothing at the moment. Actually gets body shotted. So now the Finns have got to stop thinking about pushing this. But they can't. The opportunity they get, there's a window there that they don't go through. And. It, that's the situation. There is a window opportunity they're not taking, and there it is again. And they just lose it. So now Muffins needs to refill the Uber. k has got the Uber. Oh, really? Rue's going on the Oh, there. he's going ham, as they say in um, Sweden, but no, that was a dead ring activation on this. So and he goes down. Zub bombs in. He gets caught. He doesn't manage to do anything with that bomb. And then. Are uh, Roman France going to use this aggressively? They're, they're just gonna, holding yeah, I forward. Think, yeah, I like that idea. They could hold this aggressively. Okay, if they could force the Uber on their turns, which is sort of the thing American America like to do when I've watched the USA play this map. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do right now. And you look at it as well, they're in that high ground, so they can focus that room, and at the same time, if the Uber comes behind them, they can, as I call, drop the base with the heavy and just drop down above them. I like that phrase, dropping the base, because that's built all that. Well, you've got a big guy like that dropping down the floor. Yeah, there's going to be an earthquake. I'm surprised they don't put that in TF2 sound. But. They are holding in a great position, and when you look at the Finns, they're clueless. Uber, early again. Here they're going to go. They're going to take down the sentry. What's that? The sentry. Coped in the sentry, yep. as per usual, and then they get pushed back out again. What a surprise, Kildrum. I can't believe we haven't and, seen that all game. And Jonas gave away his life there, just to push the car uh, an inch. It's, like, it's not really worth your life, but look at that. Karitas and Napa work to take down tech. This is something they're, they're not doing. Where's the spam from... Um, Kuna, that needs to be spam on the doors. He's not there, I don't know where he is. But he's not where uh, he needs yeah, to be. He just spawned, he just spawned. Oh, okay, fair enough. He got, he, he's here now. They've managed to work some kills because they had a demo man alive. They're still not getting through that door. And yeah, Nappa dies to a spam pipe. They can't take the sent. they can't deal with the sentry. It just buys so much time for him. For France, the sentry by Mister. Yeah, I mean. I don't really know what to say, like. You try and analyse it, but it's the exact same finished play again and again. If they just focus on frags, they got, they're going to have more of a chance to achieve things. Oh, absolutely! Kills will open thing plays up on the sentry. Uh, Uber comes out right now. They're going to go take down the sentry gun. They're, not, they're ignoring right now. Now they find it at the sentry. The heavy drops the base and comes back down. He's getting pushed up a lot from the pyro. And they do get the frags finally! But the sentry gun's still up. Tech is still up. K3 up. Number advantage in the Finnish side, strength advantage in the French side, and now finally with Tech getting zoom with the oh, coming tech. down, Tech with two. Can he get another? No, he can't. Held it off enough though. Look, 420 is time left on the map, so we could be looking at like almost eight, eight to ten minutes capturing Bird. Yeah. Uh, it's just Kona trying to defend, but finally the frags come in. Pla pla, it's our flippy, all at the same time. Completely destroy the French push there. It's just this, I've been saying this all game the way the spy, the sniper, the, the scout, the flank from France has been playing, they've just been they've just been out playing. T Mac isn't particularly getting too many kills on Muffin, but he's getting so many frags in the other fights. The zoom gets another kill on K3, and that's this is what Finland need. They need to go non Ubered now, man up, get through that choke point, and just go, just goes. But they, they, they just don't have the confidence to do that, do they? No, they like, combo no number severely of times, lacks it. Number of times we've seen K3 go down to a great bomb from Zoom, and there's no follow up. Not even now, if Muffins gets 100%, she's not going to dot push this, and they're going to wait. And I'll tell you what, if that's right, I bet you K3's going to have 30 to 50% Uber by the time Muffins pops. What's worse is the way that they've been pushing these points. Focus sentry, not frags, and they have uber advantage now. Will they do the same thing? T Mac is in fact bombing in, trying to force it. Muffins is weak, but she does actually pop early. 
to another early Uber and it's they're going for damage this time, but they've run into a pyro. K3 gets sniped by Rui in the middle of this push, and now they need to, they've got like as many frags as they can for the time being. They need to get some get that sentry down. Sentry down. Can, yeah. It's down. They finally have this really. They're can they get do anything? But the teleport is still up. Not much is gonna do. Apart from bring a soldier in. Kuna's who's coming from shot. above. Lord Shakun is about to come from behind. Now he gets shut down by Zoom. But he's dead man still up there. Six for three points. They have to get this point now. Like they have to take advantage of these frags that they're getting in the top, but they're, they're not really doing it. They're scared of Flippy. Zoob comes in on the bomb, actually manages to kill Flippy. So that's a good kill. They have to go in on Uber. It doesn't really matter. They have to. Like, if they don't go in on Uber, they're looking at a really long time. Like, with seven oh, minutes left. Kill. Yeah, oh, brilliant. And Jack and Rui's got down. the sentry. There's only three ups, and now they've got to capitalize on this. Look, T Mac, Purple, and K3 is the only what? three up. They put that's a strange the Uber, Uber. For, Yeah, that's. That's really straight. That but they, doesn't matter. They've got to get this. They've got to get more kills. Great headshot by um, Rue and Muffins goes down to T Mac. So there's there's quite a few spawns in for Finland, for France right now. But the frags are going for Finland. They're attacking as a team. Finally, you've been you've been saying this all game, Scully, and they it's finally finally get it. Ten minutes, fifty seconds to capture four points. That is the goal for the French. Now. First time they tried this, they couldn't get past first point. Then they set a time of four minutes, or was it six minutes? Basically, it's all to play for. If the French do this in 10 minutes 50, then that's it. They're through to the final. If they don't, well, that's it. We're going to go to a third map, which is another payload map. What is the time? We've been here for a while, it seems. Oh, look, it's, it's, 20, it's 2311 CEST, ladies and gentlemen. And we're still going. Yeah, it's ten past ten. I mean, it's, I don't have work tomorrow. I'm, I'm happy. Oh, oh, right. oh wait, I do have work tomorrow. I, I, <laughs> Never I mind. Got a, I just got a nice little um, PM on IRC. Muffins is not main calling pushes. Yeah, apparently Napa is it. I feel like. I just... Now I know, I know. I've heard some low-level medics complain about how it's how it's torture to being a medic in Highlander because you've got not eight people you've got to look, at, you've got to heal, and then keep an eye on yourself. So it's maybe not good for, for pushing. But surely there's going to be some communication on what Uber they've got. Yeah, there's sort of things that medics are expected to call, and that you should be called. I don't. I've never really played with Muffin, so I can't really judge your player. There's a there's a lot of like moments of hesitation from Finlands. I feel like it comes from a less experienced combo. Even though I feel like Kuhn has been playing in like the wrong positions for a lot of the game. Tech Tech and um, K3 just as a combo have been really strong and there's a synced bombs from France, the exact same thing that Finland did to them and they get the Uber Force and there's an instant instant pop, but it's on a pyro, into a pyro. They're not gonna get much done with this. No, what happened was, was a bit the pyro, of a wasted. What what happened there was um, Eunice pushed down T Mac. I mean, not team Mac pushed down uh, tech, so he had no, so they had no choice but to move with the pyro. So that's used that all up for them. Now they've got to do this the hard way with 10 minutes to go, and I reckon they couldn't. Iso, Iso, where are you? Okay, you managed to hide away. Brilliant! Look at that. He's cloaked up. He gets spotted, but he manages to avoid yeah, the, avoid it. He's Great such a good spy. So Finland, throw France are going through the tunnel. They're just eating spam right now, so they can't they can't really continue to push, but look like they're trying to get a play. Look where, the sentry, sorry, look where the sentry gun is and look where they are right now. They can go through the they can go through without any problem with the sentry gun. Look, the heavy weapons guy going forward to look up to expecting a sentry. I think T Mac wants there. to jump here, like I think he's trying to find an opportunity to jump T Mac. That's what sort of, I think the idea is he's not sticky's back towards his own team. Here he goes, jumps on the medic, forces the Uber. Great play by T Mac. K3 has also been forced, so I don't know how this ex Uber exchange is going to go. I don't know, let's see what Easel. Easel actually takes down shot and there's some sapper. Can the home wrecker get it? Yes, the home wrecker gets it. Easel staying alive, finally gets taken down. Well, the, cat, the car actually did not get pulled any further, but with a sentry gun down, they can yeah, reset was... and they can recycle and they can do something right here. That was an important play by Easel, as you were mentioning, because they didn't get much else done, but they've got, um, they got the engineer down. Kunev's got sort of throws his life away before the push actually comes in from France. And now that they're trying to get up on this hill, but Jonas just right clicks and they're out of position straight away. Oh, look at that play. Teleporter! I mean, Teleporter's down there. He sacrificed himself for a teleporter. Easel. Easel's getting some heals. Easel's getting some heals and he takes out Kareem at the same time. 
thank you very much, he'll say. And he will say that I'll take that backstab at the help. This is helpful for them. It may only be the sentry cut, may only be the sentry, uh, the heavy weapons guy, sorry. But it's enough to start it. Look at the soldier bot makes the fourth. They're brilliant from team up, makes the fourth. K3's got 88%. They have to get out, I feel like. Yeah, they've got to get out. They've got Zoom's the trying to get the up. medic. No, he's they... jumping, sort of jumping down. Easel, Easel, Easel gets the sapper, gets the sap onto the teleporter. Oh, they are going to take everybody. Brilliant Uber here. It's going to take everything I don't think it is. Well, I, know, I think it's, it's a good Uber, it's on the heavy, but I think Kuna's going to jump. Looking for some frags on the roof. Great timing of the bomb, but so unlucky not to get muffins. But muffins get finished off by the body shot by Flippy. And it's, it's Tech and T Mac just running to the spawn. Nappa's there in spawn. Has an attempt to get on the medic. So they are going to secure this second point, but there's a few players behind Scully, and look how far forward France are looking at going, and T-Mac has already pushed up, he's already killed the sentry for um, Finland, so Finland, they don't know they can defend this uh, third point either. I mean, they'll have a go at it, I'm sure, but they're going to be stuck on their last. Yeah, I just want to say it's hard to capture, every it's hard to, to focus everything on this game, usually a sniper play, I love sniper plays. Look at that, Flippy taking units and then Tech goes down. I look at those a lot of the time and see them, but it's so hard in 9v9 to I catch love, up with all the headshots. I love the little like outlines we get in the uh, yeah on the, on the stream, the Eva, you can see the, the push from France though. Not taking out the sentry gun, the sentry gun's going to be finished off surely. Yes, finally gets taken out, they tried to bully as much as they could to try and get this cart pushed up. Finland aren't giving it up. I like, Finland's just not giving it up, actually they finally decided to go back. Or have they not though? No, they still want to defend this. Nappa's still spamming that car. They can't really get anybody around the corner. There's a mini sentry. Muffins. Flippy. Muffins got taken out from Flippy. Need we say any more? He's up there with some great shooting as per usual with a double kill. And that's what they need. And this could be... Flippy's, that could be it. Flippy's like, yeah, he might have just won them the, the, the game and put them into the final. He's, he's still sort of like a max, the way he's playing. I mean... Frankrick Binair? Have I seen that? Frankrick Binair in stream? Wow, I'm actually what? liking this. Frankrick Binair! Friend, yeah, victory France. I think that's what... That's, that's Danish. Bit, is that Danish? That's Danish for it, yeah, I think they won it. Here, they here comes Uber. Uber. Here comes Uber. Oh, not doing much at the moment. T-Mac going around. Can he get anything? Can he get anything? Take down Rui. Can he get any He's more trapped. from that? He they've trapped no the combo shot. in this hole. They have, yeah, they've got him isolated. This is what they need. They're in a great position right now. They can walk in. The French national anthem is at the end here. They can hear it. They can see the light at the end of the tunnel and hear the French national anthem. All the Franks are coming. The spawn campaign's coming. Viva la France! Viva la France! They go to the finals and take on USA. Brilliant push. That's what they needed. Great comeback up that horrible first round for them. Yeah, I mean, the only time they played badly in that game was. When, other than letting them edit die a few times, it's just that one round where they failed that push. Other than that, they were the dominant team. France, really big players by like, all of their players, but if you had to give a man of the map. <sighs> T-Mac. It's, it's, it's a coin toss between T-Mac and Flippy. And uh, there's, there's so many like, good players, but I was really impressed with Mr. I mean, I'd have to say it wasn't ex exactly exceptional like, play for Mister, it was more like finish, bad finish play. But he was really effective on the engineer today. But yeah, T Mac, Flippy, destroying. I was saying that Flippy, Flippy versus Max in the final sniping. Woohoo! That's um, gonna be something. Uh, it's gonna be something. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm already like licking my chops at how it, how strong that match is gonna be. It's going to be USA versus the French before I-49, we believe, folks. So keep an eye out for us on our, on our social links. If you don't know the social links, they're, they're going to come up into the Twitch chat. If you're not watching on the, on the Twitch chat, I'm going to say them right away. We have a Twitter with the handle at Vanilla TV. You can watch that. I mean, follow that, I mean. Or go to our Facebook page, Vanilla TV Org. Basically, the same thing gets put on both pages when we go live for a stream or a cast on the day of the game. So look forward to that. Or you could go to our website, VanillaTF2.org. That could be, that's got some, always some great write-ups there for 66s and Highlander for when the cars go live. Do look forward to that. The fonts for both games that's happened tonight will be on Vanilla TV Org. That is, a, that is our YouTube page. So do watch that as well. Don't forget to click the follow button if you have enjoyed our cast on this stream and Villa TV 2 if you came from the second stream watching the USA crush the Swedes. We do appreciate that. We know that you have other choices and we are thank you for you've chosen us. I mean, look forward to our cast for this week. 
Dignitas Cup Saturday night at, I believe, uh, 20 CEST. Not confirmed. We will let you know on Twitter. I-49 will be coming up. The Highlander Nations Cup final should be coming up. Do keep it calm. I want to say a massive thanks once again to Ari. A thanks to Hildreth. And on for the second stream, a thanks to Rinter, Kip, and Argo. Agro. 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 <laughs> agro. 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 I'm sorry, Agro. So, shoot shout out to those. Hildreth, any final words? Not really. I'm just going to look forward to the final. It's going to be some point next week, Monday or Tuesday, and a great week of TF2 coming in. Like, next 10, 10 days in TF2 is going to be massive. All of his all of his voice has gone to all that insight tonight. It's been great casting you again. I don't know the Japanese for goodbye. I'm just going to say Kanichiwa because that's Isn't all I can sayonata do. Isn't it or something like that? Sayonara! Sayonara! I don't, I don't know. All I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for watching. Please stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Drink all the hell you want, though, because it's a Thursday night and we don't care about Fridays. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Vanilla TV. Thank you very much for watching us. Good night.